Hello guys, good morning. Um, how are you today? Ahora sí. Uh, we are here. I'm going to begin the class today after calling the attendance. I'm going to show you your work. Yeah. This is the work that we did uh, yesterday. And my idea is to continue uh, checking, checking the, the written activity, the written work. Today I'm going to continue with Lisbeth. A ver, Jesús, uh, Omaris, and Juana. So you guys mm, made some contributions. Let's go out with no, the first one. Best places for a first date. Let's see. <clears throat> In my opinion, there is a comma here. Bueno restaurant on, Alta, on Altamira Place is a nice for a first date. Okay, it's a nice place. <laughs> it's a nice place or it's a nice restaurant. I'm gonna keep place, okay? For one thing, comma, good job. It is, this has to be in a small letter. It's a beautiful place, but it is, but it is, it is expensive, okay? Don't forget the uh, subject. Good morning. Hello, Santi. Um, remember, after a, a period, you have to put a capital letter. The place is expensive, but the view is beautiful and the food delicious. And the food, comma, delicious. Also, the place is very charming. For these reasons, it's because my excited the place and person for the first day. Excuse me, what do you mean to say with is because my excited the place? I don't I didn't understand this part. What does it mean? Oh what did what did you intend to to, to say? No entendí qué quisiste decir ahí, es decir, qué querías, what did you intend, qué pretendías decir. Que el restaurante es bueno, tiene una vista bonita, la comida es deliciosa. En la parte que está subrayada, la de for these reasons, esa es la parte que no entiendo. Ah, donde usted dijo la razón. Dime en español qué querías decir ahí en inglés. Esa parte que está en negrita. It's because my excited the place. No entendí eso. Ah, que es un lugar muy encantador para ir con... Es un lugar muy encantador. Bueno, para la primera... aquí dice es porque mi emocionado el lugar. Por eso no entiendo. O sea, el orden de ideas cuál es. Por estas razones... Bueno, entonces yo intenté hacerlo. Bueno, está mal, entonces está mal escrito. No, no es que no entiendo. Eh, no, no me has podido decir en español que querías decir ahí en inglés. ¿Me entiendes? O sea, en español yo pensé que eso decía es porque yo tal cosa. No me has sí. dicho, todavía no me has dicho que esa frase que quiere decir. Ah, porque es un lugar, es un lugar muy encantador okay. para ir a una cita, bueno, es para un... ir a una cita con una persona. Listo, es un lugar. Entonces, el because... Eh, For these reasons, por estas razones, por estas razones, es un lugar muy encantador. ¿Cómo? 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 Pienso. ¿Perdón? No podría ser I think, o sea, yo pienso. Eh, eh, es que esto está bien, for these reasons. Esta oración está mal estructurada porque o sea, precisamente no se entiende, estoy tratando de darle un poquito un twist. Y ella dice, porque es un lugar exaltado, pero por estas razones yo creo, sí. I think this place, este lugar, is excited, no. Este lugar es, this place is eh, a charming place to go with a person for a first date. Voy a quitar place porque repetí place dos veces, lo voy a repetir con restaurant, ¿ok? Charming es encantador. Como Prince Charming, you know, el príncipe encantador de Shrek. 
No, y de todos los cuentos de hadas. Prince Charming. <ríe> bueno. Ok, miremos. In my opinion, Bueno Restaurant and Altamina Place is a nice place for a first date. For one thing, it is a beautiful place, but it is expensive. The place is expensive, but the view is beautiful and the food delicious. Also, the place is very charming. For these reasons, I think this restaurant is a charming place to go with a person for a first date. Bueno, I would say here, I would say... El, el vocabulario está un poquitín limitado. Acá me dices, es lugar, es un lugar muy bonito, pero es caro. Y luego dices, el lugar es caro, pero la vista es hermosa. Sí, teacher, eso sí, fue lo que pude hacer no, en el tiempo que nos dio. O sea, fue lo más rápido que pude escribir. Y como usted dijo, que no hiciéramos modificaciones. Está bien, no, está bien, está bien. Estoy, estoy, como, dejé, estoy observando, estoy observando. Okay. Good job, good job. Good job. One point en general bien. Lo único para mirar bien es la estructura de las frases que, que tengan un orden. Yo creo que el lugar me parece bonito. Porque en español es como más atravesado. En inglés es mucho más estructurado, o sea, es como siempre es la misma estructura y a nosotros nos cuesta. No, no te voy a sí, mentir. Teacher, y, lo, y lo que pasa es que yo intenté hacerlo con mis ideas sin usar el traductor. Entonces, Está bien. por eso debe sí. estar así, porque no es lo mismo saber cómo va con traductor que utilizar tus ideas para expresarlo. Correcto, no, y ese es el, justamente ese es el punto de la actividad. De no, gracias por corregirme porque <ríe> necesito aprender mucho esa parte. Todos. Ustedes están en curso 3, entonces obviamente está, este es el proceso. Vamos con, vamos con Jesús. Bueno, Jesús pone. Good job, good job, one star. Okay, so my congratulations to you all because you follow the guidelines, yeah? The guidelines were, the, in my opinion, uh, for these reasons, for one thing also, and for these reasons at the end. So you did, all you guys did all of that, yeah? So that was fantastic. Okay, give me a second, complete because I want to... Uh, Andres is telling me that he is on a bus, so soon he will be able to, to join us. Oh, I don't know if Andres joins us. Is Andres here? Yes, Andres is here. Okay, I got it. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. What day is today? This is course 3. And October the 25th. What is today, guys? What day of the week is today? Do you know? Go ahead, Adri. <laughs> I don't Wednesday. Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Do you know the days of the week? Today is Tuesday. Okay. Remember the days of the week. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday, October the 25th. 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 Year 2022. Session six. Let's remember the days of the week. Um, calendar of today. We begin with Monday. Then today, Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Then you have oh. Thursday. Oh. Then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. 
Uh, and we are here. See you. See you stay. Repeat. Tuesday. Okay. And there is a, di uh, a similar one. <laughs> it's similar, but it's not the same. This is Thursday. Thursday. Exactly. Very good, Daniel. Mm -hmm. So Tuesday and Thursday. Today is Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's share. I'm going to share the book and show you what we're going to be working on today. Today we're going to be working on Unit 10. Unit 10 is called Home. Yeah. Um, a stained glass house in Brooklyn, the United States. This is like a, a art piece. Uh, the vocabulary that you are going to learn in this uh, lesson is identify objects and rooms in a home, show surprise, describe rooms in a ho house, talk about ways to improve a room or house. Yeah. So everything about the house. So let's see. Let's answer these questions. What do you guys see? Please tell me everything that you see. What do you guys see? I see, uh, I see, I see, uh, 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 glass, glass house. Uh -huh, a glass it house. It is colorful. Very good. Let me, let me write that down. I see a glass house. It is colorful. Thank you, Mayra. And anybody else? Do you want to add anything? Um, I see uh, a small uh, house. A small house. Mm -hmm. How small? It is. A, see, I see a small house. Good job. I see a small house. Good job. Anything else? Mm -hmm. uh, apart from the house, what is in the environment? What is in the environment? Do you see mountains? Yeah. Uh, Adri, did you say anything? No. <laughs> there is a bridge. Very good, very good, very good, Omar. There is a with, bridge. With, with, with light, light. Okay, light. so here, I'm going to change the color so that we can write on top of the thing. Okay, let's see, because this is located like in the street. So, for example, we have a bridge. A bridge with light. Very good. The a characteristic of this bridge, long, it's a long bridge, yeah? A long bridge. Very good. What's, what's this, for instance? How do you say um, real? River. Okay, mm -hmm. so probably this is the Hudson River, creo yo. <laughs> <laughs> the Hudson, the Hudson River, if, if it's in Brooklyn, New York, you know, Hudson River, that's the river they have. Um, very good. Look, this is the river. Okay, anything else? For example, what is the name of this part of the play, the street, you know? How do you say acera in English? Is that a new word? What does the dictionary say? Come on. <laughs> hmm. Jesus, do you know? Acera? Sidewalk. Okay, American English, the sidewalk, British English, the pavement. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that the house the house is on a sidewalk or the pavement. A sidewalk or pavement. Good. Uh, what is the name of this? Uh, well the thing that is here. This, this, what is this? 
cloud. Cloud, okay. Cloud, these are clouds. But I refer to, to not the clouds, everything. El cielo. How do you say el cielo in English? Heaven. 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 I mean heaven. Heaven in the religion. <laughs> in religion. <laughs> uh, the physical place is called the sky. Yeah? The sky. Uh, is, an, is that a new word? The sky? The sky is blue. But here, the sky is dark. Why? Because it is a uh, night time. It is night time. Okay. It's night time. The sky is dark. The house is on the pavement. There is a river. There is a long bridge, Brooklyn. And, and we have this beautiful home. Okay. I'm going to take a picture of this. I'm going to take a picture of this. Uh, it goes to the document. Yeah. Uh, this is unit 10. Uh, uh, the house. I think it's called the house. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. What is the name of this? Home. Okay. Uh, question. Who lives in this house? I think I no think one. No one. It's very, it's very small. It's very small. Mm. Maybe because it's a small, or maybe because it is, it is a piece of art. Maybe uh, so people don't live in pieces of art. Creo yo. Do you? This is our our of art. Very good. Art. Exactly. So uh, this question is good. Who lives in this house? And you say no one because it is a piece of art, not a real home. Yeah, it's not a real home. Or maybe not for people. Okay. The question, do you like this house? Uh, yes, I would like to know. Adriana, do you like this house? No, I don't like no. this house. Because um, um, the house has a lot of uh, windows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, it's not, you know, not for living, but for looking at it. Do you like to see the house? Is it beautiful? Do you like it? Yes, it's beautiful, but no, it's... Um, a place for life. Okay, it's not a place for living. Great job. It's not. It, it is beautiful, but it is not a place, a place for living. Okay, it's not a place for living. Okay, good job. Uh, what about Ariel? Do you like this house, Ari? Hi, teacher. Um... I think uh, it's a beautiful place. It is a beautiful place. Uh, uh, especially uh, uh, at least. Uh, I don't know. Okay, that, that's fine. Uh, thank you so much for your answer. How about you, Jesus? Do you like this house? It is a nice house, uh, but uh, it is not, not for living. It's not for living, okay. So you agree with, you agree with Ediluz, I think it was Ediluz, or well, uh, was it Adriana, I believe, it was Adriana who said that. Okay, let's continue. Uh, we're going to identify objects and rooms, objects and rooms in a house. So the, the lesson has vocabulary. Let's check and see. Lesson A, rooms. And we have many modern apartments have to use a space 
in creative ways. Um, this is a modern apartment, <laughs> you can see. And if question for you, this is a question. Is is uh, this room big or small in your opinion? What do you think? Oh, sorry. For some reason, I stopped sharing. Is this room big or small? Small. It's a small, right? Why? Why do you think it's a small? Small. Room? Um, the bed, the bed is um <laughs> exactly uh, the the name for this thank you for the question it's a good question it's a bunker I que feo ese color I'm sorry let me change it to that again uh, a bunker this is a sorry this is a bunker bed, a bunker bed. So you have one bed on top and another bed at the bottom. Yes. And yeah, it's, uh -huh, continue. Okay. okay. It's a small room mm -hmm. because um, a bunker bed is uh, for a small space. Eh? That's right. Two children. <laughs> yeah. Tiny place. Okay, very good. What about this bed? What did you think about this bedroom? Big or small? Okay. It is a big. A big. It's a big, it's, it's bigger, at least it's bigger. <laughs> it is bigger, bigger than the other room. Very good. It's bigger than this room. Ariel, I can listen to you. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Uh, okay. Uh, it depends, teacher. Uh, if you compare the computer it, to mine, it's a big room. Uh, but it's a, it's a big, it's a big one. It's, a, it's big, but it can also be small compared to the rooms. You are right. Yeah. Yes. It depends. So it depends. <laughs> so definitely. Yeah. Okay. Look, because in modern life, in modern life, beds are small and smaller and smaller. <laughs> You buy an apartment and the apartment is every time, each time is smaller than the, you know, the previous apartment. So, look, small spaces, small ideas. Look at the photo. Is the room big or small? Is it a comfortable room? Do you like it? Uh, then they're going to tell me, okay? Uh, watch the video above. You will see this room, three rooms highlighted to things to see the people doing. And then... Let's imagine a room that everyone uses, 24 hours a day. It's a living room. It's a playroom. But better make it easy to clean up. And if we use this space up here, it can also be a bedroom. Stackable stools, drawers on wheels, a bed up in the air. Small ideas can transform a small space into a generous space that works for everyone. It's about maximizing space, being a little creative with how you use it. Okay, stop it. This is the first room. Um, let's see. In, first, in the first room, what place is this? Is this a reading place, a playing place, a cooking place? What is this? Highlight the two cooking. things you see people doing in each room. Cooking. Reading and playing. Reading and playing? Were they cooking? 
<laughs> no, no, cooking. no cooking. I didn't see people cooking. Okay. Uh, let's go with room number two. Check it out. So what if we get a little creative with a space like this? Does a living room really need a sofa? What if we tried something different? There, we've just created a whole wall for storage. And a cozy little nest for two. Now everyone can do what they want, at the same time, together. And being together is a good thing, right? So let's try something completely different. Stop right there. Okay, let's see. Uh, how about the room number two? What do people, what are people doing? Watching TV. Watching TV. Yeah. Eating, eating, and drinking. eating, eating, eating and drinking. Very good. Okay. Let's go with room three. Here are six friends. And this is where they live. Together. Why not? With some bunk beds, curtains for privacy, and a big communal table to gather around? It can work. To make the most of the space you've got, all you really need is an open mind and a few smart, small ideas. It's about finding and using hidden spaces and choosing furniture that does more than one thing. And it works. Mm, Ikea. I'm not sure, Ikea. <laughs> I cannot imagine living with so many people in a very small place like that. Story. Uh, and sleeping, yes. What do you think about that, the last place? Did you like it? Okay. Okay. Um, question. Watch the video again. Is each room comfortable or not? I'm going to ask it about room number one. Is room one comfortable in your opinion? For me, yes. For me, uh, room number one. Alright, for me. It's very small for the family. Family is more, more big, and uh, uh, they need more. Uh, how do you say it's fast? Uh, space. Yes. They, they, need they are. More. Uh, they are more, need more space. Yeah, I I agree. Now, this is a place that is supposed to be a living room and. They put a bed. So you don't like it? It's like a living room with it, that is at the same time a bedroom. Hmm. I don't know. It it looks it looks good. I would have it, but it depends. Room number two, what about room number two? Teacher, I don't like. <laughs> Why not, Adriana? Because um, the team, the um, the foreign, for, sorry, for, for furniture, for, yes, the furniture. Um, it um, como how do you say um? Como acumulado, junto, um, como todo pegado, ¿entiendes? Um, so, you don't like the furniture? It's, it's a space, um, um, small. It's a small, no? This space is small. Okay, this is in room number two. How about room number three? 
I don't like little uh, um, a, a lot of people, mucha gente. Okay, so y, there y, are y, a lot of people. With a lot, uh, there are a lot of people in same place. In a, in a very small space. I agree. I didn't like it. I, you know, to be honest, IKEA. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> okay, let's check. This is the introduction to, to the unit. We're going to see the vocabulary, the vocabulary for different places around the house, okay? Uh, cover up the list in A. Can you add an mm -hmm, identify the rooms? Okay, dame un segundo. Look at the apartment below. Drag the numbers and letters that match the label. Let me see, because we have kitchen, living room, bathroom, bedroom, and dining room. All right. These are the areas, yeah? Uh, I'm going to make it a little bigger. So what I'm going to do is, number one, what place of the house is this? Living room. That's right. Okay. So I'm going to make it living room. Living Living room. Room. Number two, what place of the house is this? I don't know. Okay, the word is dine, dining room. Dining room, el comedor, yes? You have the table and you have one, two, three chairs. Number three, what place of the house is this? The kitchen. The kitchen. The kitchen. Very good. <laughs> How about number four? Bedroom. Bedroom. Okay, this is the bedroom. How about number five? Bathroom. The bathroom. This is this is fine. Okay, excellent job. I'm gonna take a picture of this, and this is basically the places of the house, and this is this is an apartment. This is an apartment. There are more places though. But uh, we're going to begin little by little, yeah? Okay, let's see more. So let's see if we can do it here. Number one is the living room, I think. Number two is the... Do you remember? Number two? Living room. The living room. Living? No, no, dining. Dining, dining or dining? Yeah, yeah, dying. Exactly, dying. dying. That's fine. <laughs> dying. Number three? Kitchen. The kitchen, yeah, that's so. right. The number three was the kitchen. <laughs> what about number four? Bedroom. The bedroom. The bedroom. That's right. And what about number five? Bathroom. Bathroom. You guys have good memory. Okay, let's go with the second, the second section. Look at the apartment, and then we have areas. For example, the yard, the elevator, the balcony, the garage, and the stairs. Okay, I'm going to take a picture here. Yard, elevator, balcony, garage, and stairs. Can you see the yard? What number is the yard? Six. Number six. Number six is this. Is this the yard? Teacher, I don't have a question. Yard is a balcon? No. Yard is no balcon. Yard is nine. Nine is yard. Nine is yard. Okay. So basically, okay, I'm going to type here. This is the yard. Yard. O sea que yard, what is yard in Spanish? Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is yard in Spanish? Okay. Terraza. Puede ser terraza o patio. No, no, patio es patio. Es como, a ver, como un jardín, no necesariamente jardín. Sí, terraza. I'm going to keep it as terraza. <laughs> the yard. Porque tiene, tienes the front yard, la del frente, the backyard, la de atrás de la casa. Yes. En este caso, the yard of the building. Good. Eh... So, number six, what is the number six? What is that? Mm 
Mal. Number six. Mal. Con. Balcony. It's very close. <laughs> balcony. Very good. The balcony. So, yard, balcony. Muy bien. Number seven. What is this? Elevator. The elevator. That's right. The elevator. Good job. And number eight. The stairs. The stairs. The stairs. Good job. Number ten. Garage. The garage. Okay. Very good. Like, let me take a picture here. Remember the numbers because I'm going to ask you that to, to remember uh, where is uh, everything okay uh, here we go Cha -cha. number six goes to balcony 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 or balcony i don't know <laughs> balcony palabra es drújula balcony <laughs> Number seven. Elevator. Elevator. Good job. Number eight. The stairs. The stairs. The stairs. Good job. Number nine. Yard. Yeah. Yard. E. Yard. Not G, sino E. Yard. Number ten. Garage. <laughs> okay, definitely. So, yard, elevator, balcony, garage, stairs. Let's go with the next section. The next section are so many words, so many words. But check it out. Repeat after me. Air conditioner. Air conditioner. Very good. Air conditioner. Bed. Bed. Table. Table. Rug. Wrong. Wrong. Chair. 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 Think. Look at it. Think. 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 Very good. Think. Yeah. That's good enough. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Wall. Wall. Sofa. Sofa. Closet. Closet. Toilet. Toilet. Stove. 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 Lamp. Lamp. Window. Window. Shower. 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 Very good. Shower. Probably the, the words that you know, for example, let's try to identify what is the air conditioner. Let's check the air conditioner. What is the air conditioner? H. Letter H. Let's see. Letter H, air conditioner. Do you guys agree? Ariel, Ariel agrees. But I want to listen to the other people, like Omar, Lisbeth, Juana, <laughs> Eddie Luz. Do you agree? Air conditioner is letter H? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. So yes, teacher, yes. This is yes. the air conditioner, that's right? Yes, okay, teacher, very yes. good. So, air conditioner. Let me, let me, let me put it here. All right. A letter H, H, there you go. Okay, what letter is bed? J. G. Letter J, J or letter G, I don't know. J. What did you say? J. 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 Okay, J. very good. So letter J. Letter J is bed. Table. B. 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 Sorry. So, sorry. Okay, letter D. Very good. Letter D is table. Table. Okay, rug. Do you know rug? Me. Very good. This is a rug. Do you have a rug in your house? Yes. Yes. Me too. What color is your rug, guys? 
Red Skull. Red. 